Hey, let's play! Welcome back to more WWE 2K14. I am here to call me. This is the Hulk Mania Runs Wild story mode in 30 years of WrestleMania. It's WrestleMania 7, Hulk Hogan vs. Sgt. Slaughter. March 24th, 1991, Los Angeles, California, for the WWF Championship. When Sgt. Slaughter returned to the WWE near the end of the 1990s, he made a shocking announcement. Sgt. Slaughter had turned his back on the WWE and America by aligning himself with Iraq. At the 1991 Royal Rumble, Sgt. Slaughter won the WWF Championship from the Ultimate Warrior. Okay, so he kept the title for uh, like half a, half of a year, I guess you could say. Maybe more than that, actually. Meanwhile, at the same time, at the same event, Hulk Hogan won the Royal Rumble for the second consecutive year. After the Royal Rumble match, Hogan became uh, incensed with when he learned that Slaughter was the face of the American flag. Homer prom Hogan. I said Homer instead of Hogan. Hogan promised America, America and his Hulkamaniacs that he would reclaim the WWE Championship from Slaughter at WrestleMania. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Making his way to the ring, weighing 310 pounds, the WWE Champion, Sergeant Slaughter. The WWE Champion, Sergeant Slaughter, has turned his back on America. Well, Slaughter reinvented himself, wrote a whole new playbook. If Hogan expects to win this match and the WWE title, he'll have to pull out all the stops. It is easier to keep the title than it is to win it. Hogan will have to dig deep if he expects to defeat Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, because Sergeant Slaughter is a real fucking threat to Hulk Hogan, right? He's fucking fat ass and big ass jaw. Iraq, bitch! And introducing the challenger from Dennis Beach, California, weighing 303 pounds, the immortal Hulk Hogan! It's mayhem here in the City of Angels! It's Hulk Hogan! I have never heard an ovation like this for anyone in my life! Hulk Hogan waving old glory as he makes his way to the ring. Looks to be in the best shape of his entire life. If fucking Hank Hill was a wrestler, he'd be Hulk Hogan. Think about it. <laughs> Alright, let's get this match underway, bitch. Oh, he's gonna rip off the shirt, brother. Oh, look at 24 inch pythons. Bring it on, Sergeant Slothead. Alright, let's do it. It's an easy match. Sergeant Slaughter is nobody, man. Whoop. Back up. Cool character, though. I'm not going to lie. I miss characters in wrestling. Those were, those were the days when there's actually gimmicks. Get out of the way, ref, you flipping tit. As you can see, uh, the checklist is very hard. Pretty much just signature, finisher, pin. So, shouldn't be a, a, that long of a match. Oh, he threw me back into the ring. Is it, wasn't Sergeant Slaughter with uh, the Sheik? The Iron Sheik at this point? So why isn't he on the outside? I thought he would be his manager. I guess he wasn't part of this match though. Because I knew they were like a tag team. Him and him and Sheik. But anyways. Fucking bullshit. Alright. Beat him up. I like his uh, attire. Slaughter's attire that is. Boom. Beat him on his face. He's so old though. Is it? It's like, that's like when you look at wrestlers back in the day, they all just look so old. Like, Sergeant Slaughter is balding, Hogan was balding, but Sheik always looked old, he never looked flipping young. Macho Man kind of looked old too, but I guess they're all like in their 30s at the time, right? So, it wasn't like now where you're like, you know, there's like 26 year olds and all that nonsense. Oh, suplex. I'm not saying like, half the guys now anyways that are in WWE are like in their mid 30s, main guys anyways. Alright, get up, Slaughter. Throw you into the ropes. Clothesline your ass. Ah! Yeah, it was. Big old drop. Dropping on his sternum. Get up, son. Hit you with a DDT or something. Boom! Work on the head. Keep working on the head. You know, bust it down for the late drop, right? I haven't seen any blood yet, which is weird, because I turned blood on. I made sure to turn blood on. Because, you know, I want to see people get busted open, because that's what wrestling's about. It's about blood and gore. And elbow drops from the top rope. Ah! How do I not have a signature yet? Another elbow drop. Ah! There we go. Alright, so big boot, leg drop, pinfall. Here comes the match, right here. Boom! Here comes the leg drop. Boom! Into the pin! 
One, two, three. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, Hulk Hogan. He got it. Hogan did it for WWE and the United States of America. History has been made tonight. An unprecedented three-time winner of the WWE title, Hulk Hogan, the WWE Champ once again. Undoubtedly, this has been the most memorable night in WWE history, and you are a part of it. I've never seen anything quite like this. The goal, once again, around the waist of Hulk Hogan. Yeah, it is. Creative control, brother. What you gonna do? All right, so we unlock Sergeant Slaughter, WrestleMania 7. WrestleMania 7, and Hulk Hogan, WrestleMania 7. Let's uh, look at what's up next real quick. That was a pretty short one. Hulk Mania runs wild. Randy Savage versus Ric Flair. That should be a, a good match to play. So I'm here to call me. Until next time, guys. You know what to do. Show them thumbs, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.